All right, I think we are live. Uh, so welcome everybody um, to the Struggle Ops show where we are going to be doing some uh, platform engineering live. Uh, the goal for today is to take a Helm chart and deploy it into Flux and then take that uh, deployment uh, and transition it over to an Argo CD uh, controlled application. Um, so this is kind of in honor of both of the projects graduating uh, in this month. Uh, they're both CNCF graduated projects, which means they have um, officially crossed the chasm, um, as they'd like to say. So uh, it is a majority adopted product or tool. Um, so we're here to find out how interoperable uh, these tools are. Um, so I'm joined today by Daniel. Um, feel free to, to say hi, introduce yourself. Hey everyone, I'm Dan. Um, we're both developer advocates at, at Acuity. So, um, you know, fair warning, there's a, there's a slight bias here in that I'm very familiar with Argo CD. Um, I am not as familiar with Flux um, I, you know, I'm familiar with, with Helm and, and SOPS, uh, which is another thing we're going to be working with today. Um, which means, you know, we might struggle a bit in the beginning here, but I, I think that's going to be the fun part is, uh, is seeing, you know, how easy is it to get started? And then, and then what <laughs> totally unexpected challenges are we going to face as we try to transition, um, uh, over to Argo CD, um, which I think means we can just basically jump into this. So um, what we're gonna do in the, in the start here is we're gonna cheat a little and um, the amazing uh, Christian uh, Hernandez, the GitOps Kingpin has uh, provided a getting started with Flux um, gist for us on GitHub. And uh, I think that's gonna take a lot of the effort out of getting started with Flux is a total newbie for me. So we're gonna we're gonna try this out for a bit. Um, so wait, wait, if he's the GitOps kingpin, what does that make you? Uh, the GitOps newbie, the uh, some dude um, that, that likes working with GitOps and, and platform engineering. Uh, I, I, I'm certainly humble in comparison. I've written a couple blog posts that, uh, that you know, are, are just some thoughts on Argo CD. Uh, so we're, you know, Goliath and uh, what's the other side of that? Um, David and Goliath, there we go. Um, nice. Uh, yeah, okay, I, so right now you're just following like the, the quick little getting started guy with Flux. Yeah. To see how easy it is. Yeah, exactly. So we're, we're working with um, a local kind cluster. Um, so I'm gonna need to bootstrap my cluster. You know what I'm gonna need to do even more than that? I'm gonna need to install the Flux CLI. So let's see what that takes. This is one of those things moving to a Mac that I didn't realize how convenient uh, Homebrew is. Like, you know, I'm used to like apt-get update and install and usually if you wanna like install Flux or something, you have to go like add the repo to, um, to apt, you know, talking like Linux desktop, being able to just do like homebrew uh, or brew install flat flux, that's pretty cool. So we've got <laughs> we've got flux installed, uh, flux CLI installed. We've got our kind cluster running, and now in order to bootstrap, I need a GitHub token. So I'm gonna go do that uh, off screen here real quick. Getting started. All right, so we need a Kubernetes cluster. Okay, I need a, a pat with repo permissions. All right, I'm just gonna generate a classic token because that seems easier. Uh, going to do my pseudo mode request on my phone. All right, uh, we're gonna call this Flux to Argo CD. Uh, and it needs repo permissions. That's 
I guess all repo permissions. Sure. Let's try it. So we need flux bootstrap GitHub and then owner equals, you know, I already have the environment variable, but whatever, I'll do it this way. We have our repository, which uh, is going to be Argo CD example apps. All right, what branch am I on? Main, main, nice. I'm glad that we're very forward thinking. Path, we're just gonna do the root path and see what happens. So we're going to flux bootstrap GitHub um, from my repo for the Argo CD example apps, branch main, path the root, and some personal flag that means something. Uh, let's see what happens. So at this current state, do you have like a, you just have like an empty kind cluster? Is there like a flux namespace in uh, there already? I've got a, a kind cluster and we've got our repo and now we're running flux bootstrap, which should install flux into the cluster. So I'm assuming that's going to create the namespace. Um, Installing components in flux system namespace. Okay. And then, so let's go, let's go look at that namespace. What's in it? Yeah, I'm curious. So I'm guessing this is going to be like the, uh, the controller component of flux. That's yeah. Handling this. Oh, interesting. They've got a controller for each, um, config management tool. So a helm controller, a customized controller, and then source controller. Let's uh, let's 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 do it. Let's yeah. execute the installation and everything. Let's let's see some stuff happen. Yeah, let's actually get to using it, and then we can when we get stuck, we can read something. Let's just assume like everything looks healthy in terms of the the flux system. Everything's running. There's no restarts. So I'm gonna ch assume that we can move on to. We're gonna be using the Argo CD example apps repo for all of our flux information apparently, and. So it added a CR for the Git repo. It added uh, a customization and okay, seems easy enough. Did it do anything else? It added other flux components to flux system. Okay, okay. I'm going to assume that's working then. That, that looks about right. Um, and actually in VS code here, I'm just gonna go and pull down those latest changes and we can explore them a little bit. Um, so it created this flux system directory and we've got uh, all of our CRDs in here, this huge file, our Git repository and the over, okay, cool. So now how do I deploy a Helm chart to it? Um, Okay, I'm gonna go look at a guide for uh, managing Helm releases. So I think we're gonna start here. I'm interested to see if we can get it to, uh, like if I could just use that flex system, um, Helm chart source, or flex system, Git repository, CR. I'm trying to get the language right here for flex. Um, as a source for the for a helm chart so uh, so i guess what i want to understand here is you know how in uh, in argo cd we have this concept of an application yeah you know, this application has these references like you know where to look in the git repository and where to deploy it to where is that being saved within flux yeah that's that's a great question so in the spec of this Helm release CR, we've got chart, spec, and then so it's saying um, this is the path in uh, this source reference kind git repository flex system. So we have, it's like CRs on CRs. This is like, um, this definitely feels like they've leaned very hard into like the Kubernetes CR approach. Um, and then okay. they've just kind of like 
every little thing has its own CR. Um, so it's the, the helm release is one CR that tells you where in the Git repository CR to look for that helm chart. And then this <laughs> Git repository CR is going to specify the, uh, the repo to go and grab this information from. Um, so it looks like it created the namespace. It's got a pod um, deployed in that namespace for that Helm guestbook. It didn't do the release naming the way I would expect it to. Maybe that's a, an issue with the Helm chart is that it, it should have seen that the release name is the same as the chart name or the, the resource name and not done the duplicate. But uh, I won't, I won't hope, harp on that too much as it, it won't actually affect our ability to deploy anything, I don't think. If we look in, in here, so we've got the Helm guestbook namespace, we've got the Helm release in that namespace, and we've got the uh, Helm release custom resource in the flex system namespace that describes how to deploy it, um, which means flex is currently uh, managing that, that, uh, that Helm release. So we've got flex installed, we've got our Helm uh, guestbook deployed with Flux. Now we need to set up Argo CD so that we can start um, trying to transition it over. Let me verify again real quick on yeah. some, some details. So you you spun up uh, an instance of Argo CD on Acuity. Yeah. And uh, are we going to be attaching, installing Argo into that same cluster that Flux is currently in and that the other application is in as well? Yeah, exactly. So we'll, in this scenario, we've got both Flux and Argo CD in the same cluster. Um, now, of course, Argo CD with the Acuity platform, there's mainly just the agent deployed into the cluster and the, the platform is handling like the API server um, so that we can go and look at the UI. But they'll both be in the same cluster attempting to manage the same Helm chart. And the goal okay. here is to set up Argo CD to do it in a way that it's not going to try to change anything um, until we're certain that we've got all the settings lined up so that we can disable Flux, enable Argo CD, and have it start managing all the, all the um, GitOps operations for that Helm chart. Here's the fun part is, like obviously they're, they're probably going to try to conflict initially I think what we're going to do is I'm going to set up the application to manage that same Helm chart. And then we can use that to understand the, the diff between those two, uh, between what, what, ha what Flux wants to deploy and what Argo CD wants to deploy to see if we can get it to line up perfectly so that Argo CD isn't going to change anything when we uh, set it up to take over. That sounds good. Uh, so what that means is we'll create... Uh, a new application called Helm Guestbook. We'll auto create the namespace, though it shouldn't have to since it already exists. We're gonna take uh, this URL and put it in, getting rid of the extra stuff. Path, Helm Guestbook, nice. Destination is my wait, kind wait, cluster. Uh... All right, so let me make sure that we've got the sync policy to uh, not automatic. Uh, yeah, okay, I think we're good here. Sync policy manual, let's create this. Is there a clean way to take this over without taking downtime? Uh, yeah, so I think the first thing I need to do here is on the Helm side, I've got to set the release name uh, in, in Argo CD. I want to double check what the release name is for the for the flux deployment. Uh, Helm list and flux. Hey, there we go. All right, so the release name is in fact Helm guestbook. Helm guestbook instead of just Helm guestbook. Um, if that makes any sense. So we have to go replicate that in Argo CD for it to be able to try to deploy the exact same resources. Helm release name, Helm guestbook, Helm guestbook. And by saving that, uh, and we refresh. Ah, so, so, you know, voila. Now we can see that it is in fact managing a replica set and a pod. It recognizes the existing resources. Um, all right, so 
out of sync. Let's see what the difference is here. So, so far, the only thing it wants to add is the Argo project tracking ID to the um, resources that already exist at the cluster, which is great because that's totally non-destructive for it to be able to go ahead and um, start managing those resources instead of flux. Um, so what that means is that in the cluster, uh, we have to go figure out how to go and uninstall Flux and see if we can do it non-destructively. All right, so we've got we've got uh, an application set up here and ready to start managing the applications that Flux deployed or the, the Kubernetes resources that Flux deployed. Now we need to go and get rid of um, get rid of Flux. So if we look at here we did flux uninstall namespace uh, flux system dry run and then here are all the resources that it's going to to try to delete and if we if we look at that guestbook we've got the helm chart and the helm release that it it's indicating that it's going to finalizers deleted um, so i think that means that this custom resource is being deleted because of the finalizers on it, maybe. Uh, and then, but it doesn't mention actually deleting the deployment or service that, um, that that Helm chart has deployed. So I think we're safe, um, which means I'm just gonna go ahead and do it and uh, see if we lose everything. So I'm not gonna be able to list my Helm release anymore because it got rid of the namespace that that Helm release was in. Not that the actual in. resources are in, but just that the, the Helm chart like metadata is in because I think it stores it in like a secret or something. But if we do kubectl get pods in the uh, Helm guestbook namespace, do we still have our deployment? We do. Okay. And if we switch back to Argo CD here and we do... Uh, maybe we'll do a hard refresh just for sanity. Uh, nothing, nothing has changed. Nothing has changed for the resources. So if I go ahead and I click sync here, uh, the only thing it's going to do is just add the tracking ID um, as an annotation, a, a totally non-destructive um, uh, move here. So we'll sync and then synchronize. It's not bad of an experience, although, you know, most of the time, whenever you're thinking about like migrations, it's because you have all the other pieces and components attached to that migration. Things like SOPs, for example. Mm -hmm. This is a, a very simple demonstration of taking like just a Helm chart that's deployed with Flux and there's no other like um, dependencies on this deployment. But the reality is that like if an organization has this, has Flux deployed into production, um, there are going to be all these little strings attached that, you know, if you, if you pull one without really understanding what's going to happen, you could have some sort of like cascading of effect during that transition. So I would like to continue exploring, like, what are the, the little nuances of like, you know, if I use this, this co really cool feature of flux, does that limit my ability to transition to a different tool, uh, in the future? Um, in any event, uh, I I think we've we've been successful um, this this stream, in at least showing a, a basic demonstration of of installing Flux, installing uh, a Helm chart into Flux, transitioning that Helm chart uh, to an Argo CD instance, and and seeing if you can do that with no downtime for those resources. And at least in this basic yeah. example, we've proved it. Um, I think closing thoughts here is that I see uh, a lot of future future potential content around this, exploring the nuances of a migration from one GitOps tool to another, and really, you know, the the principles are the same between them, but the reality, the nuances of of the different implementations um, can have a pretty significant effect on your ability to interoperably you know use either tool that's it uh thanks for for joining me daniel on this adventure 
um, and I think we'll we'll be back uh, soon to to explore this further. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, we'll get a chance to show uh, some of the new features in two point six for Argo as well. Yeah, yeah. I would love to get get into progressive rollouts with application sets, and uh, you know, multiple sources for applications is is such a huge feature that I I think everybody deserves to take a moment and explore that because the potential is quite unlimited. All right. See you, everybody. All right. Thanks, everyone. Happy holidays.